guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing with a new palette from Clarity Cosmetics. So if you guys want to hear my first impression thoughts and see some eye looks or an eye look I haven't decided yet, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. Highly recommend subscribing, watching this video all the way to the end, and turning on those notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my new uploads. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited. I'm actually a brand spanking new affiliate to Clarity Cosmetics, so I've tried a few of their palettes myself that I've purchased, but it's been a hot second since I tried their stuff, and I feel like I saw some rumblings on Instagram that they are making some changes. I know they used to have those really big single eyeshadow pans, and I feel like I read that maybe they were changing their pans. I can't remember if they're doing any changes to eyeshadow formulas and things like that, but if I have any extra information I'll definitely let you guys know in a pinned comment or something like that but I did swatch this new palette the Aloha palette which hopefully you guys have seen close-ups while I'm talking and the formula feels very promising the metallics feel so buttery which I personally love I love a very buttery metallic shade because it typically means that it's gonna foil really beautifully on the eyelids which I love. The mattes feel extremely pigmented so I am very very excited to put them on my eyes. I am interested in seeing how people will kind of play with this color story because it's definitely a tropical themed palette so there are some fun tropical shades there are not that many dark matte shades in this palette though. The only one that I feel like I would classify as a dark matte is the burgundy shade called Here Today Gone Tomorrow We. So it'll be interesting to see how I'm going to deepen up the eye look or maybe I'll just not do that. We'll have to wait and see. There's also some really fun almost neon shades in the palette like uh, Bikini and Tropic Like It's Hot. Both of those look like very bright shades. There's also a beautiful matte yellow called Suns Out, Buns Out. And then we have, again, those buttery, buttery metallic shades that look like they're going to foil really nicely. The last shade in the palette called Paradise is like on another level. It literally looks like a foil, like tin foil. It's so sparkly and like incredible metallic so I don't even know what to describe that as but just so you guys know that is a breakdown of the shadows there are 16 shades in this palette there's eight metallics and eight mattes so there's an even split okay so for my eyeshadow primer I am wearing my Sigma Ignite eyeshadow primer but I decided to throw on some of the NYX matte SFX white paint as well just to help out the mattes just in case so I definitely have a green eye look in mind just because you guys know that I bleed green eyeshadow at least. So I'm going to go ahead and try the green shadows at least on one eye look because I'm oh so curious. Especially the shade called Girls Just Want to Have Sunsets looks so beautiful. So I'm just going to grab a blending brush and we're going to tap into that shade and I'm just going to put it all over my crease and see how it performs. Ooh, very pretty. This is like a parrot green. So I was immediately, of course, drawn to it. And then I'm going to use this blue shade called Parities <laughs> or parrot parrot see Bruh. listen I don't know how to say that word I'm so sorry and I'm so excited I'm just gonna use that on the outer corner and just like pull that into 
the lid as well. That's so pretty. Okay. Not mad about it. I'm just trying to tap that on to build that shit up just a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave like that and now I'm gonna use the metallic shadows. I definitely want to play with the shade Keep Palm and Carry On. I think that's gonna be on the inner half and then I might play with some of these other shades on the outer corner of the lid as well. Okay, so when I swatched the metallics, I had no problem picking them up on my finger. I feel like it wasn't really picking up on my brush, but I did just dig my brush into the shadow. Let me try my finger because, oh yeah, these are definitely the type of metallics that just come alive if you use your finger. So, you know, take that for what you will. I know I personally am not a use my finger to apply eyeshadow kind of gal, but I do make the occasional exception if it's a beautiful green shade like this one. I am getting a little bit of fallout from the shadows as well, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna go into the shade called Resting Beach Face, which is like a pretty blue, like tealy color, and I'm just gonna apply that on the outer corner. And then I'm just gonna take the brush and blend the two shades together. On this side, I wanna create like a purpley burgundy look. I was really inspired by these shades and maybe this pinky shade down here. So let me go ahead and grab another clean blending brush. And I'm gonna go into this purple actually, this Waikiki Do You Love Me. It's a very powdery shade, but I figured I could start that off as the first crease shade and kind of use it up here and see how it goes very powdery so I would highly recommend dusting off your brush also if you hear a thudding noise oh my goodness my husband bought well we bought a play set but a swing set a play swing set I don't know what it's called but we bought our kids a swing set and it's been like this ordeal of putting things together. I know he is really good at putting stuff together. It's just I didn't think like, oh, this was going to be like a very involved, like 107 step process. So I feel like he's been working on it for a really long time. But I mean, it's not his fault. It takes a long time to build a swing set. I just didn't realize how long and so I'm just like this is taking up our whole life it's totally gonna be worth it our older daughter has already been playing on it and I cannot imagine the fun these kids are gonna have with this thing as they get older like I did not have a swing set like this when I was growing up I just played in my yard and like my parents had trees but like nothing that I could like have a tree fort or a tree house or anything with, you know. So my kids at their age are already off to a better start, which I think is what you want to do as a parent, right? You want your kids to have more than what you did when you were growing up. So I feel like so far me and my husband have definitely accomplished the mission of giving our kids way more than what we had. So, yeah, where am I going with the story? Oh, if you hear any pounding, it's him working on it. He's finishing it up. I think he's got the swings to hang and then he's done. Okay, I kind of like how that looks. These two shades did not play very well together, but I feel like I'm making it work. And then I want to use a dark shade here today, Gone to Maui. And I'm just sticking with that E25. And I'm just going to pack that on the outer corner just to deepen up the look. Yeah, I think my one thing about this palette is it doesn't have a lot of contrasting shades. So it's hard to get depth out of it, which I typically feel like is my style. I've been trying not to focus on that as much. Like I've tried not to get as hung up on having like a deepening up shade for the outer corner because not everybody 
wears makeup like that, but I just want to point it out in case that might be a deal breaker for you guys. I want to try this like super sparkly shadow called Paradise that I mentioned when I was swatching. I'm just so curious to see how that applies. I feel like this one's also going to do a better job with the finger. Like how pretty is that? It literally looks like liquid, like metallic, just deliciousness on the lid. I feel like I'm more impressed with the metallic shades in this palette just from the two I've used so far. The mattes are nice, but the metallics are so fun. I really, really want to try out this new blush because I bought so many blushes recently that I haven't had a chance to even try them all. So let's go ahead and throw this on on camera with you guys. This is the Pink Gasm Sunset Blush. And I think it's a blush. Actually, I think it's a highlighter, but I'm gonna use it as a blush. But my friend Angie bought this and I was gonna buy it too when it launched, but it was so pricey. I was like, ugh, no thank you. And then she was testing it out and she's like, guys, gosh, this feels empty. She's like, guys, I never say run, don't walk, but this is a run, don't walk kind of day. And I was like, oh, oh. so. I got on the Charlotte Tilbury website like any good friend would and I bought the the highlighter blush situation because that's what you know that's what we do okay so on me it definitely just looks like a really kind of pinky highlighter shade which I actually like because I wasn't sure but then what I could do is maybe mix this with the matte blush, the cream blush from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'll have to do some experimenting with that. But I was going to use this kind of as a blush because I love sparkly blushes. And I know I like this formula from her. So I just wanted to try it out and actually wear it because it's just been sitting here for so long just not being loved so I wanted to try it out and see. Okay I know this is not what this video is about but I feel like I'm fully committed so I'm just gonna put a little bit of the red blush on as well. This is the Charlotte Tilbury blush in the shade Pillow Talk Dream Pop. Oh my god when I tell you I just about died when I saw her launch this. I don't usually bring my blush all the way up to the front of my cheeks. I've made a little boo-boo there, got a little excited. So I'm gonna have to tone that down. But yeah, I just wanted to experiment with these two because I just haven't had the time to play with it. And I figured why? Not, but yeah, this side is very, very <laughs> intense. Okay, I'm just taking my cream bronzer brush and just kind of patting that down a little bit just to tone it down. I think that helped out a bit. So Clarence sent me three lip perfectors. I don't know if this is a new product for them, but I have the shade 21, 23, and 25. So I'm going to go ahead and apply 25 so it's a really pretty color okay so for lip liner i just use my chucky lip liner from glam light and now let's go ahead and try this out it has like a poofy applicator and it's kind of like a balmy gloss product i haven't tried a lot of stuff from clarence i kind of thought they were going to send me their lip oils which are so hyped on youtube but they send me these instead and i'm not even mad about it because it's a really pretty very comfortable glossy lip product and i like this packaging too super convenient for the summertime so i figured i demoed that for you guys in case you were curious about the Clarence Lip Perfectors. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up these eye looks, throw on some mascara, throw on some earrings, and I'll be right back to discuss my thoughts on the Clarity Cosmetics Aloha Palette. Okay, friends, so I can't play with a palette called the Aloha Palette, which automatically makes me think of Hawaii and flowers, and so I decided to grab these giant flower earrings and celebrate this look. So what do you guys think? 
of the two finish looks. Definitely let me know. Comment a green heart emoji if this one's your favorite and comment a purple heart emoji if this one's your favorite eye look. I'm dying to hear what you guys' thoughts are on these two looks that I just created. Now let's go ahead and talk about the palette really quick so that I can help you guys decide whether you're gonna pick this palette up or not. So as far as this goes and my makeup preferences, I think my number one criticism would be that it doesn't have enough deepening up shades. I wish that there was at least a black shadow in this palette because then I could really deepen up the eyeshadow looks a little bit more, which is how I like to do my eyeshadow. But that's not the end of the world. It's just my little tweak that I would make if I was working on this palette. I think the metallics are really beautiful. They definitely seem to apply better with my finger, which is not my favorite way to apply metallics. But every once in a while, I will do it for the sparkle. I will use my finger to apply shadows. So I know some people love to do all of their makeup with their hands, which is amazing, but I'm definitely a brush gal when it comes to eyeshadows. As far as the mattes go, it's definitely not my favorite eyeshadow formula as far as mattes. I definitely feel like I prefer the metallics in this palette, but they definitely work well and I was able to achieve these two looks with the palette. So I am very, very excited to play with this palette some more. Like I said, I am a brand new affiliate with Clarity. So if you guys are planning on shopping with this brand, you guys can use my code KH Makeup to save. And I would love to hear in the comments if you guys are planning on picking this palette up or if you're passing on it, definitely let me know your thoughts down below. Okay, this video is not a testing new makeup video, but I did try out the Charlotte Tilbury Pinkgasm Beauty Light Wand. So I just wanted to mention it, and I will link this down below for you guys if it's still available. I was expecting this to be a lot more pigmented. I love the Beauty Light Wands from Charlotte Tilbury, so I hope that she continues to make more shades. I would love a terracotta shade. But this one, I was worried it was going to be like very pink, but it's more like a muted pinky, like burgundy kind of tone. Definitely going to keep playing with it. it. It did dry down really nicely, and I think it paired really well with the matte blush from Charlotte Tilbury as well. I did not add any other additional highlighter. I will also try and remember to link whatever else is on my face today in the description box in case you guys are curious. And then these Clarins Lip Perfectors. I did actually wear the shade 25 when it first arrived at home just because I was curious to see what kind of product this was. And it does wear really nicely and comfortably. It's hydrating. So to me, it's like a lip balm gloss type product, which seems to be the rage these days. So very, very happy to have tried both of those new products as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging with me. And I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.